hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing great today my name is linda and if this is your first time here welcome to my channel on this channel i usually talk about hair care wellness and lifestyle but in today's video i have another amazing hair growth oil for you guys so without wasting much time let's dive right into it I have aloe vera, mint, and rosemary um, that we're going to be using to make our oil today. And I apologize for the background noise. It's raining really, really bad here. So if you guys hear the background noise, is the rain. So here I am. I have my aloe vera that I already cleaned and cut um, into pieces. Aloe vera is very, very good. It has the vitamin A, C, and E, which fight inflammation and free radicals. It conditions your hair. Um, it stops shedding. It moisturizes your hair. So um, aloe vera vera is very very good for hair rosemary treats dandruff it promotes healthy hair growth um the use of rosemary um continuously will make your hair thick um and longer and it conditions your hair as well and we have mint i love love mint i try to include mint in my foods uh, so today we're going to include mint in our um hair it stimulates hair growth it repairs hair damage and encourages healthy hair growth so i'm going to use that much i already clean all these things before i put them back um into the the, the plastic thing that they came in so that um i won't have to um, have water in them so i'm using that much i'm gonna go ahead and add my avocado oil Avo avocado oil deep conditions your hair it treats um scalp dryness and it stops dandruff so uh, avocado oil is really really good I'm gonna go ahead and add a safflower oil. Safflower is really, really good. It just makes my hair very manageable. Macadamia oil, one of my favorite. I love it. It treats um, dandruff. It literally stops dandruff. What I do most of the time, I just massage my hair with this oil. And I add this oil um, to my oil. This is like a new babe that I just purchased. I love, love, love this oil so much. Uh, it's, it treats your hair. It deep conditions your hair. It makes your hair really, really soft. After wash day, you can just like massage your scalp with that oil. It's very, very good. And pumpkin seed oil is, uh, is very, very good as well. Those are my two favorite oils that I just add to my um, oil. And another one, the trough oil. Trough oil is usually good. Is usually good for people with locks. Uh, but I'm gonna try it. I just bought this. I'm gonna try it. it. Has a very strong smell. I'm gonna try it and see how my hair likes it. If I love it, I'll keep using it. If not, I'll just abandon it. But it's very very good for um, locks actually. So black sea oil. You guys see me use this many times. It's very very good. Um, I love it as well. We're gonna go ahead and blend everything together, you guys. So after blending everything together, um, this is what we're going to have. Uh, let me open the thing first. <laughs> it's completely like blended. It's like baby food. This is what we have. So we're going to take this, this to the stove and we're going to leave it on the stove on low heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. We want the color, the green to change to dark, a little darker. And then uh, we want the... Um, Yes, we want something like this and we want those uh, bubble things in, on top of the oil. That's that's what I um, recognize as the oil is, is done, is finished. I can take it off like this, those bubbly things. So after 10 to 15 minutes, I'm back to my station. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, um, and then just strain it. It smells really good, you guys. It smells very, 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 very good. As always, I'm going to go ahead and add my safflower organic cold pressed oil. 
um to this one this has a strong smell just like the trough oil as well so i'm just adding a little bit so after that um i'm gonna transfer um the oil into something that i can use it out of you guys when you're making this type of oil make sure that because um aloe vera has a lot of water in it make sure that it's totally cooked it's totally like done done before you take it out of the store you don't want water in your oil because it's only gonna last you for a day or two and then you're gonna have bacteria so i'm gonna go ahead and take the fresh mint the fresh rosemary and then put it inside the oil and let it sit in there for maybe a day or two and then um i'm gonna wash my hair and start using it oil is done it's been a day and two on um, saturday i washed my hair my hair is freshly washed like i say in all my video um when you're using a new product make sure your hair is freshly washed you don't have any um other things in your hair beside your conditioner or anything don't have anything else there so your hair you can tell whether the um the product is good for your hair or not um whether maybe your hair might not like aloe vera or rosemary or mint um your hair will tell you so um it's, it's always good to have to to wash your hair before you apply any product so i'm just going ahead and massaging my scalp with this oil i'm going to massage my scalp very very well and then of course my edges you guys always remember the edges those edges got to look really nice so we're going to apply those at the edges and then um i'm going to go ahead and style my hair as usual hair looks very thick you guys the hair is looking very healthy and very very thick After I applied the oil to all my hair, I went I went ahead and just put my hair back in ponytail as usual. But you guys, thank you so much. This is the end of this video. I always appreciate you guys. The love you guys are showing me. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until next time, um, see you guys again. I love you guys and take care. Bye-bye.